What's the worst part of having a child? Worrying about how the outside world will treat them. Having to take care of a sick child when you are also sick. For me that has been the most challenging part so far. Watching them make the same mistakes you did even though you told them not to make those mistakes. Little Jimmy. If you borrow a bunch of money, those people are going to want it back and if they don't get it back they'll take stuff you won't want taken. Having to deal with their total lack of self-preservation. They are creative and come up with all kinds of ways to try and kill themselves, keeping ahead of the game is exhausting. The days drag on, but the years fly by. I'm only nine years in, but so far it's been the sleep deprivation. Hands down. ETA I'm not still sleep deprived. My kids sleep great now at nearly 9-5. But that was the hardest part of parenthood for me so far. If they are born with severe disabilities, you will need to take care of them or make plans for their care for as long as they are alive. It's heartbreaking, many marriages don't make it. My utmost respect to parents of special needs children. Being worried 24-7 worrying about them for the rest of your life. They're just always there. On you, behind you, in front of you, just a little speed bump impeding every task. LOL. Losing them. I lost my 14-year-old daughter to suicide in 2020. It's the worst pain and you can't imagine it until you are in it. I'll never be the same and if I didn't have my son I'm not sure I'd still be here. The loss of freedom. I can't somewhere. Even with older kids, there's so much planning and thinking and getting ready. I miss being able to just decide to go somewhere, and go there. It's like taking a second job that lasts 18 years with 24-7 schedule with no holidays or sick days. The worry that I'm a bad parent that's doing things wrong. You have to feed them like every day. The constant anxiety that you're doing enough to shape them to make good choices, a good life, be a good person and for them to have the life they deserve. It's incessant. It never stops. You never get a day off. Going from having two days per week to relax and do whatever to literally never having a moment free from responsibility. Yeah cosign on constant worry. Having a kid is like having a little piece of your heart running around in the world. When they're sick or get disappointed or just feel sad, it's worse than having it happen to you. Yet at the same time, you need to let your kids work through those things to learn to handle them. If you give in to the worry and try to shield them from everything, you risk creating harmful codependence. So it's a constant struggle. But worth it. I'm divorced and the worst part of having kids is being tied to my ex forever. For me it's giving up a part of myself that I will never get back, don't get me wrong, I would choose to do it every time, but there is a mourn of a previous self and the sacrifice I need to do to become the best father I can be and that can be hard sometimes. Transitions. From baby to toddler, to little kid, to big kid. Time passes by and with it they start growing into independent persons. A parent's love grows with them, but te feeling of knowing sooner than later they will belong to the world. And we adults possess the understanding that the world is. This can be both beautiful and scary. Currently both parents being sick after we caught it from our child who is all better now and wants to play. We have no local support for babysitting in these situations. Your life's no longer yours. By time you get home from work, sort tea, sort kitchen, get then in bed you've about an hour before you gotta go to bed to start it all over again. Edit when I say tea I mean dinner supper, not a cup of tea. The constant, unsolicited advice you get from people. My wife would take our son out for walks and every time someone would feel the need to comment about how he was dressed or positioned in the stroller, it was never constructive, was always wrong, and it really cuts into someone. On the flip side of that, I would take him out and would only ever get compliments as to how attentive a father I was. The double standard is brutal, especially when the bar is so low for dads to look attentive. Your life is not your own anymore. It's both the best and worst parts of being a parent. I'm so tired. 
Just tired all the time. I don't ever remember not feeling tired. Haven't seen anyone mention the strain it can put on your relationship. It's immensely difficult to communicate properly when you're stressed, worried, and sleep deprived. Work on your relationship as much as you do at being a parent and you'll have a good foundation. Watching them stray down the wrong path. Wishing they'd listen to you. The strain on your marriage relationship. We thought we were completely prepared since our child was planned. Then you add the responsibility and stress and the takeaway sleep. Didn't sleep through the night for nine straight months, we were at each other's throats every single day. We finally got ourselves figured out and are good now. Besides all the other things mentioned, having your internal organs rearranged. Some of them permanently. Having depression and having depressed children fucking sucks. If you have mental illness, and your kids get the same mental illness it will double your mental illness. 1. Watching them be in pain physical or emotional. 2. Cleaning up vomit. How much you sacrifice. Kids take everything you've got and then ask for more. They are endless, remorseless need machines. Or at least they feel that way, for a long time. But that's just the deal. And if you're up for it, it's a perfectly acceptable deal. But even when you are all in and completely okay about the sacrifice, sometimes it really feels like a lot. TW Child Loss Having to pay the hospital bill after they have passed and are no longer with you. Always wondering what their little or big personality would have been like. Everyone else forgetting they ever existed even though you're still here. Celebrating their birthday without them. When they are sick. That even though one may raise them as good as possible, that child may still turn out to be an evil human being. I don't know personally but the other day I had a bad day and came home from work and laid in bed in the dark and ate pizza. I started thinking I can't possibly fathom having a day like that and then having to go home and take care of children. When they die before you. Been there. Literally zero breaks you are on call 24-7 for 18 years. Never can slow down to even catch your breath. It is equal parts exhausting and rewarding. I always say I wish we had better respite for parents because we all need it. These comments are a lot more wholesome than I figured. I am happily child-free and love it, but was pleasantly surprised by most of the comments. Losing all ability to control your own time. They don't eat meals and then get hungry an hour later. They have school and lessons to be taken too. They have homework. They need snacks when just start doing the thing you need to do. The need baths. They make messes and leave things everywhere. After all this there isn't any time left. I haven't slept for seven years. As the apartment neighbor to a family with a kid, they are so fucking loud. Edit the child is currently screaming so hard they're losing their voice. Losing them. My 15-year-old son died suddenly on Tuesday morning. His dad went to wake him for school and he wasn't breathing. He had no health conditions and we don't know the cause of death yet. My baby is just gone. Every single part of parenting is a challenge. But losing a child is a pain unlike anything I've ever known. Having a child is taking a risk that someday your whole world could be shattered, and there's absolutely nothing you can do to stop it. When people ask me this I say. You know those video games where you have to escort a character to a destination without them being attacked. That's parenting. Those missions are a pain in the ass. From a greedy perspective, you lose a lot of the freedom that you had from before you had a kid. It is harder to go out, you can do what you want to do less often by far. You can also lose the time you used to have with your significant other. From a loving perspective, you are always worried about doing a good job as a parent, or being worried about their safety in general. I hope that doesn't sound negative, it has just been my real experience. I have two elementary aged kids and that is what came to mind for me. Being hungover on a Sunday morning catering to a three and one year old.